polls still show broad support for Israel. The Wall Street Journal poll a few days ago showed about 55% overall support for how Israel's handling its operations. It's about as good as you're going to get mm -hmm. in these situations. There is this far left flank who is threatening in some key battleground states for 2024 that they're going to withhold their support in Michigan and a few other places. It's not clear that would even make a big difference, but it sure is putting pressure on the Biden administration. Welcome to The Debriefs, where we talk with The Examiner's top journalists about the headlines they're covering and where the story's going next. I'm Sarah Bedford, and I'm here today with magazine editor David Mark. David, President Joe Biden is in head-to-head -head matchups with Donald Trump, sometimes not winning, which I think is surprising to a lot of analysts. And is part of that because the far left flank of his party is, is starting to sour on him? Yeah, it's interesting. President Joe Biden's biggest battles right now are not necessarily with Republicans, but his own party on a couple of issues. One is on support of Israel. His administration has been pretty good, pretty strong in terms of giving its backing for Israel's military operations after the horrific events, the, the terrorist attacks of October 7th. But there's also some opposition to that from the far left. They are not happy about that. That's a longstanding view. Also on immigration, the Biden administration to get a spending bill for to support Israel and Ukraine is probably going to have to make some compromises on immigration. And politically, it's probably a Democrat's benefit because they don't want to look weak on mm -hmm. immigration. It's one of their soft points, you might say. But there are some in the party who... Critics would say want effectively open borders. It's a matter for debate, but they certainly want a softer immigration line than uh, than uh, President Biden and his team does, at least to get a deal passed. And in terms of Israel, there's been a lot of pressure on President Biden from the left to be harder on Israel. Yeah. Do you see Biden responding to that in the way he's conducting his foreign policy? Not particularly. Remember the... Polls still show broad support for Israel. The Wall Street Journal poll a few days ago showed about 55% overall support for how Israel's handling its operations. It's about as good as you're going to get mm -hmm. in these situations. There is this far left flank who is threatening in some key battleground states for 2024 that they're going to withhold their support in Michigan and a few other places. It's not clear that would even make a big difference, but it sure is putting pressure on the Biden administration. What can Joe Biden do to shore up support on the far left if he really needs to, to keep the, the centrist voters yeah. to make some concessions on the border and to stay with Israel? Do, do you think we'll see him be more liberal in some other arenas then? I think he's actually best off politically kind of angering the far left, letting make it look mm -hmm. like he's got some distance. Standing like up to them. Yeah, he's not captive this previous president. Democratic presidents have done this. Bill Clinton, Barack Obama to a degree in certain ways, making it look like he's not captive to them. And yes, probably finding some other ways to appease them. But these, particularly on immigration, there's a lot of concern about the southern border. It's not just some right-wing Republican issue. People are like, what's going on here? Also in big cities, New York, Chicago, some of these other places get migrants put there and people are like, hey, what's going on in our cities? Well, David, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. You can get more writing from David and the rest of the political team at WashingtonExaminer.com.